Okay, um, this is a starter off the Kohler 7000 series V-twin engine. Um, I'm going to start taking it apart. As you can see, I'm marking uh, some areas. I need to mark where my screws are. And I'll get that other side here in just a second. But um, this is what uh, I was telling you about in a previous video that I'm going to, these magnets come unglued in here. And I'm going to see about either gluing them back, gluing them back, I found a new adhesive, or what I'd really like to do is drill a hole through it and put a countersunk screw. Uh, I don't have one close to show you what countersunk means. It's, it's got a V-shaped head. And um, see if I could do that to hold them magnets in place. And that's the number one reason why these starters i mean the Benix and everything's okay this thing's barely got two years on it and that that to me is crap to do that starter uh starters uh this is a starter but motors that come off of um winches do that they build up a lot of heat and they unglue and melts the glue and it falls apart so let me do a little taking apart here and I'll get back with you. Okay. On the bottom where you've seen this bolt is where the bushes, br brushes are. And as you can see in that one, they slide into a slot. That one has come out. You can see there's a spring behind it them bushing but brushes fit against that this is the armature right here and this is the end plate and my gosh look inside there there's hardly no wear you know um let me check something real quick check for wear and slop well that's a tight fit See, there's barely any wear on that. That should be a censored bronze. No, it ain't. It ain't bronze bushing. It just looks like a piece of damn metal. Huh. Cheap. Well, this has no wear or problems on it. And as you see right here, here's the problems I was talking about. This is glued in place. This is glued in place. This one's out. And that one's out. And as you can see, there's a piece that goes in between them. But... That is where we're at. Now you can see the glue on that one. And the problem is, if you ever go tearing into one of these, you don't, you don't, you need to mark, like the magnets have a north and a south. And because these have all been placed properly, I should go ahead and mark them since I got a marker. You know, this end is the bottom. No. This end is the top. Mark these so they all go in the right place so it will spin right. Oh, crap. Damn it, damn it, damn it. See, I'm wondering now, were these separate, which I'm pretty sure they were, had a gap, you know, had a gap like that. That's what I'm, yeah, I'm betting they had a gap like that in there. 
I got to see is what's behind that. I don't know if I could drill through magnets without breaking them. See, I've never done that before. But the old Delco Remy starters that was on Chevy's a long time ago. <coughs> Dang it. You can see that glue right there. Damn, they didn't have any glue at all on there. Look at that. One side. Y'all can see that in there. Crap. Okay. Ah, shit, shit, shit. What am I going to do? If I could pull this off, this would be a, a miracle for you guys. You can see that one and that one. That one's really glued in good. That one's not glued in good. These side two wasn't. Now on the web, I found a, a glue specifically to glue these magnets to the metal. And it's made by Loctite. And I can't think of the, it's got a number, like 369 or something like that. So, I got to go look it up and see if I can get it. Okay, that's where we're at right now. Now, one thing you got to remember when you put these back together is you got you got to slide them brushes back into their slots and get them on top of commutator. I believe that's commutator. It's been a little while since I've been in college. See how that only turns one way? Still in good shape. Teeth are in great shape. I mean, this thing's in great shape. These idiots that put that together. So, let me see what I can do. I got some work ahead of me. So, see you in the next video. Okay, I just found something on here that may, may give me an idea. Okay, now look at the color of the windings. See how they're all a consistent color? Now look right there. See how it turned black? See how it turned black up there and all the rest of them are red? This one even has burnt... Um, uh, there's a coating on them wires that insulates them. So, I may be up Crap Creek messing with this. Off to the next one.